Hey guys. Holy smokes, this is as big as they got. That's it. That's it, eh? Hey guys. This is Zarin. She's three and nosy as hell. And that's the stallion. Well, the principle is you've got your these four form essentially one structure, and then these four form the other structure. Okay. But they're all each separate structure self-supporting. Mm -hmm. But the one underneath will help support the one on top. Okay. So they're each only really carrying half the weight. And then we'll run uh, roofing boards across each space to distribute the weight and then we'll saw it over the top. Yeah, rocks between the between the books. Have you, have you tried this experiment before? Yep. In physics, actually. Oh, yeah? I can't remember what we were studying. Probably not sweat lodges. No, I don't think so. Ingenious. You just do that twice. The second one, you will build the second one slightly higher. Okay. Um, I want to use eight because that way it gives us a rounded wall, whereas this way square like square walls and nobody wants to sit in a corner, right? Yeah. Why did you choose that spot? It's close to the house. That way we won't freeze to death after we're uh, done the sweat lodge. <laughs> Okay, well the basic concept is we're going to sink eight posts into the ground at equal distance around the circle and uh, then we'll put in the self-supporting roof and then build the stone wall between the, each of the posts except for one obviously which is where we'll put the door and we'll build our door frame and then pile stone around that and then we can put on a, uh, uh, a wooden door that will seal the light out probably better than a sheet would. Um, yeah, I think I think probably we're going to put it there with all the dogwood is be our best bet. And then put our fire pit in the low spot there. That gives us a roughly straight, somewhat easterly line. Uh, well, it's going to be like a self-supporting roof. All the, it'll be from four points, like just for example, north, south, east, west. The beams will each meet in the center and they'll all overlap each other so that they support each other in the center. And then the other four remaining points will come in and form another roof over top of that so that the bottom roof will support the top roof, but they'll each support themselves. So it'll be independent and cooperative. Um, cedar rails, like we used on the fence posts, or the fence rails. Because I've got a fairly good uh For the uprights, either it'll be uh, cedar fence posts or I'll steal you know, some of the logs that are left over from the house. If I can get some that are about seven feet long, that'll be, should be plenty. Get them four feet into the ground, get them below the cross, and then three feet above the ground, which will give us our three foot walls. 